Rolling Stone magazine blows up. Now, the the Lena Dunham thing, I didn't even, I didn't read her book. I frankly don't care. I don't think somebody 22, biography, well, it's another thing. Anyway, she claims she was raped by a conservative Republican on campus at Oberlin College somewhere in Ohio. And Breitbart has endeavored to conduct an exhaustive investigation. They can't find a guy. They can't find anybody that meets the description. They can't find anybody who could possibly have done this. I'm t- the left is cracking up right in front of our eyes. Openly, every day, the left is becoming devoted to the opposite of the truth. It's almost as though there's, a, there's an ongoing effort here to be wrong. And if it causes a problem, deal with it later. But the agenda is so crucial that we will even lie to advance it. Uh, Dan Rather and this uh, National Guard thing and, and George W. Bush. What's what's the Dan Rather? She says, well, they may not have any evidence, but I know what happened. Uh, I have sources. I talked to my sources and uh, sources confirm. Well, I don't have any evidence, no, but I, uh, I'm i very clear it happened. And if it didn't happen, I want to break that story. Remember Dan Rather? Says, I want to break the story it didn't happen. So you call it whatever you want, narrative journalism, you can call this agenda-oriented journal, whatever it is, it isn't journalism anymore. Well, I don't, you could call it a hoax, but a hoax is knowingly, I don't know that there's a hoax here, I, I think what happened here is, like the Duke lacrosse case, the left lives and breathes image And the left is one of the most racist, biased, bigoted bunch of people you ever run into. And they just believe that white guys that play lacrosse have to be rich sons of investment bankers or some such thing. And that they just wantonly rape and pillage and get drunk and do whatever. They just, that's the image. That's what they believe of people that play lacrosse or go to Duke or what have you. And so here comes some exotic dancer leveling the charge, and it just fits what they already believe. It fits their template, so they plug it in, and they believe it. All those faculty signatures, they just believe it. And then when the evidence comes forth, it doesn't change their pre- or misconception. It just, you know, we got this one wrong. But these guys are still, you know, I'm, they're still going to do it. These kind of guys. And you, everybody knows these Greek guys are running around sexually. It might not have happened here, but we know it happened. That's the world they live in. It's, it's part and parcel of the conservatives are racist, sexist, bigots, homophobic. No matter the evidence to the contrary. But remember, too, these are the people leveling all the allegations about everybody else, about what reprobates everybody else is. These are the people, and boy, don't you dare investigate them. Don't you dare try to find out what their problems in life have been. Don't you dare try to find out if anybody in journalism has got a DUI. Don't you dare find out. If they've ever had affairs outside of marriage, don't you dare try to do that to us. Only we can do that to you, is their attitude. I mean, this is, things are blowing up on these people left and right. The gentle giant thing's blowing up on them. The Garner case is moderately so, but and it, it, the list is endless. In these kinds of things. Gabby Giffords got shot. Sarah Palin's website did it. Evidence comes forth that it wasn't now some deranged guy that if he was motivated by anything, it was liberalism. No, no. You have a you have a, a school shooting in Utah, and what does Brian Ross at ABC do? Immediately try to find a guy's name on a Tea Party roster. Talk about... What's the word? Bigotry? Preconceived notions, I'm missing a word here, but 
the judgmentalism. I mean, these people are just out of control. And you know what it's all rooted in, I think, is hatred. I think they have an absolute hatred for people who are not liberals. And it, what, they're, they're on a mission to demonstrate that their hatred is properly placed. And in order to convince people, they'll make it up. They'll just invent things. And even if the case they invent turns out to be not true, it doesn't matter. We know it happens. What was there's a case on the tip of my tongue where this exact thing was said even. The media, somebody had accused somebody of doing something and it was found to be totally untrue. And the reaction was, well, they might they may not have done it, but we know they wanted to. They would have. I can't remember what it was. But it'll come to me because the synapses in my neurons are firing rapidly today. So it uh, it will come to me. I got other things I want to get to here in the stacks of stuff as well and your phone calls. So take a brief time out and come back and continue them. Number again, by the way, 800-282-2882. Do not go away. 